Yeah, Grand, you, you can always count on Granny. Like Granny's game is always a consistent one, like very strong defensively, can generate like uh, you know like good offense. He has a great vision, he's good with the puck, so you know, like uh, hey, Granny gave us some great games, so I have no doubt and uh, you know Granny's gonna play some good minutes for us. It was a grinding game in Philadelphia, quite an entertaining game. The Flyers obviously have great strength up front. What's your challenge in terms of trying to limit them and do what you need to do in the offensive zone? Yeah, well, you know, like it's it's going to be, I, I think, like a game, like, you know, like kind of the focus is going to be on four check on both sides. Like, uh, you know, like they're they're working hard. Like you, you need to be on your toes. You need to be ready because they want to impose their own style. So like uh, you're right, it was a great game in Philly a few weeks ago. And tonight they're right back in our building. So like, uh, you know, we need to be at our best. Plus right now, you know, like, it doesn't really matter who we're playing in our situation. You know, 12 games to go, we have to, to put on wins in the right column, so like, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be ready. You've uh, said in the past that you've embraced the idea of the players looking at the standings, watching what's going on in terms of the playoff race. Now with things so tight and changing so uh, night to night, do you feel the same way, or is there other ways you're trying to alleviate the pressure of those, that situation? No, because that's, that's the situation. I think that our challenge is that we have to have the ability to recognize the situation. Like we're, we're in a business, we're business people. You know, like, uh, you know, I don't want to deal with a stockbroker that will not look at the stock market every day. You know, like I, he's not going to do business with me, that's for sure. So like that's, that's our situation. Hey, we put ourselves in a great situation. Hey, let's, let's enjoy it. I, you know, like, hey, if this is the best league in the world, Hey, let's transfer that pressure into a positive challenge. Let's have fun with it like we're a young team. Let's go and play. That tw- just like 27 goals for Sean Monaghan right now. 30 is realistic. Is his emergence as a goal scorer surprised you at all, that number of goals? No, no, because, you know, like he's, he's so smart. And, you know, like what I think that, you know, like what's surprising to, you know, lots of people is you know, like Monty's young age versus his responsibilities. And not only the way that, you know, like he plays the game in the three zones on both sides of the puck, but also the way that he's shown consistency. Like, uh, you know, like to score that many goals at, at a young age like this, you know, it's pretty impressive. But dealing with uh, money on a day-to-day basis, you know, like it's just business as usual. And, you know, like he's, he's already a great pro. Going into the, uh, the Philly game, Goudreau, wasn't he was kind of a scoring slump, and he's picked it up since then. Has he has his game gotten better in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, like, but again, like, here's here's a young player that, you know, had to make the transition from a college uh, college schedule to an NHL uh, schedule. So you know, there's quite a difference. But I think like credit to him for a small size player. You know, like he's done quite well. Like you know, like he's had like a few bumps on the road. But at the same time, you know, like he always found a way to get back in gear and, you know, like be productive. And you look at, you know, like we were talking about Monahan's two-way game. You look at Johnny Gaudreau's two-way game. It's been pretty impressive also. You've seen him all year. Is he the rookie of the year in your eyes? Well, for sure. You know, like he has my vote. Raj seems to be pretty excited. Must have a great question, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just standing so close to you radiate okay. excitement. Call time out, Raj. I always have time for this. <laughs> well, Douglas Murray, you've seen him now for a week or so. Is he moving closer to possibly joining your team in your mind? Hey, hey, you know what? He is a true professional. So I, you know, like, uh, I don't know where we're at as an organization in making a decision with uh, with Douglas, but you know what? Like I, I enjoyed so far like every every minute that he's been with us. Can you, you know, assess like your he, second pairing, your third pairing, then? Because obviously, I mean, you've had had to kind of work those guys in, and if Douglas Murray was part of your plan, would he be a fit in that third pairing? Yeah, well, it could be. You know, like right now, obviously, like let's remember why we brought Douglas Murray in the first place is that. With Culkin's injury in Adirondack, with Gio's injury uh, over here, you know, like you, you never have too much defenseman around. So, like you know, like we brought him first, and it was clear with him and his agent that it was kind of as a wait and see approach, kind of a safety uh, precautionary measure. So, like you know, like he's good with this, but you know, like what a great pro around the team. Like uh, you know, like 
He hasn't taken like a day off since, you know, he's been with us. He's in the gym, he's on the ice, he's around the team. He's a great team guy. So like, uh, you know, like I don't know what's going to be the final decision between Douglas and uh, management. But, you know, like, uh, you know, like he's been, he's been great. And, you know, like hey, we're, uh, you know, like we're going through. But, you know, like at, the, at, at any point, you know, like there was no promises that he would be playing or not.